Hi, Rod from TrueKit here. Today we're going to do an experiment on welded seams versus glued seams and show why at TrueKit here we're big believers in welded seams for inflatable boats. So we've made up two samples here. This one's a welded seam sample, this one's a glued seam sample. Um, they're both made with a high quality Valmex fabric and for the glued seam we've used a high quality Bostick 999 glue with a cross polymer. So if you zoom in here, you'll be able to see the, the slight difference between the welded and the glued seam. And you know, there's the back of it, there's the front of it. And on this boat that I'm sitting on, we can see this uh, welded seam on a true kit navigator here. So we've got the two samples set up here. here. We've got the welded seam sample and the glued seam sample. We've hung 12 kilos or 26 pounds off each one. Now the reason we've hung weight off it, that's to replicate the pressure that a seam feels from the air pressure inside a tube. And what we're going to do is gently start warming up the seam, which is what happens when the, as soon as you take the boat out in the sun, the, um, the boat and the seams and everything starts warming up. Um, and that's where you get tend to get the failures of inflatable boats. So we're going to use a heat gun here to start gently uh, warming up the samples. Yeah, the idea is to apply a similar amount of heat to each one here. What you can see here is that we've, um, we've done these samples with a high quality Valmex fabric and it can take the heat. The fa it's probably takes the heat better than any other, any other fabric available. Um, there's a lot of cheap fabrics out there that wouldn't, wouldn't handle even this amount of heat. They should be starting to get, get warmed up now. I'm just starting to see some puckering here. Oh, okay, and there goes the glued seam. That's after a couple of minutes there. So now that's gone. Um, we don't have to worry about putting heat on that one anymore, so we're just going to keep applying heat to this welded seam here. Just to give you an idea, that's, that's getting pretty warm there, pretty, pretty hot to touch. So 
So that was a very expected result there. Um, glued seams, the glue warms up, and as the glue gets warm, it loses its, um, its strength, and that's where you get your failure. With a thermo-welded seam, the, the two layers of fabric essentially become one. They're fully bonded together in a, a full um, mechanical bond rather than relying on a chemical bond. Um, I, I could pretty much be here all day and this, uh, I'd probably burn a hole in the fabric before the seam will fail. So we're given that probably double the time. Um, there's not much point in keeping on going here because this literally will, um, I could be here all day doing this. But I'll turn that off. So you, there you go, that was an expected result. Um, the glued seam failed after about two minutes with a 12 kilo weight on it with uh, a bit of gentle heat from a heat gun, which is similar to the sort of seat heat you'll get when you take your inflatable boat out in the sun. And um, the thermo-welded seam is a real strong mechanical bond. Um, you know, with the air pressure inside it, it's the most important bond on the boat. That's the one that's holding the air in the boat. That's your safety. Um, when your seam goes, it can be a catastrophic failure. Um, so that is a, a, the most important bond that you have on the boat is the one holding the air in.